What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. I can't remember the last time an underdog was this confident going into the Olympia. Someone other than Blessing Avodibu of course. A guy who placed 5th at last year's Olympia and Nick Walker totally believes in himself. And we should all respect his self-belief. Now how hard Nick has dieted? Well, that sucked down face that is making him look like a teenager says it all. Nick Walker's realistic expectations last year was top 4. He obviously fell short and honestly one of the most exciting rematch this year will be between Hunter Labrada and Nick Walker. Because make no mistake, Hunter has also dedicated the last one year solely to get him closer to that Olympia title. I think Nick Walker weighed 245 pounds on stage last year. He was 257 two days ago. So by that metric, we can assume he will roughly be 5 pounds heavier than last year. Which is a lot of muscle in one year. Behros Tabani asks all the bodybuilding fans around the globe to support him and pray for him that he gets his visa to enter the US and competes in the biggest bodybuilding show of the world. We are less than 13 days out and there has been no answer. As far as diet and training is concerned, Behros is not slowing down. He is an Iranian after all just like Hadi Chopan and we all remember Hadi was in the same spot a few years back and eventually they figured out a permanent solution for him. I do hope Behroz gets to the Olympia stage this year. He is an amazing athlete. Brent Chen is a top 5 Olympia competitor if he nails his condition. He has got the most beautiful shape out of all the last year's top guys, except maybe Chris Bumstead. Seems like it has been ages since he stepped on the Olympia stage. Well, actually, it was 2019, the year Keon Pearson competed in Classic for the first time. The year when Brion was dethroned by Chris Bumstead. The division has evolved since that time. One of the most fierce competitors of that year, George Peterson, he is no longer with us. Keon Peterson has switched to 212. Brion, who was the reigning champion that year, he is fighting to stay in that top four. The point I am trying to make is that it is gonna be a big challenge for Brandt. His front double and abs and thigh shot is just unbeatable. Neither Urs or Ramon is beating him from the front. The back double is the shot where Branch will lose ground. Lastly, we have an update of Angel Calderon, the most dreaded guy in the 212 division. And what's crazy is that it's not even two weeks out update. It's an older one. Angel is a great bodybuilder. Along with Sean Clarita, he was qualified for both Open and the 212 class. He was fourth last year and he has all the intentions to move up in two weeks' time. Angel has the density and muscle maturity that can go toe to toe with anyone in the entire division. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.